Does the name does the name Two Park sound familiar? To yes, you? that is you. That is me. That is you. Yep, I've been a long time follower. Right. For what is that? Two, three years? Has it been? You tell me. Is it since since Yahoo? Since you guys yep. before you moved over to the score, yeah. right? You're yeah. a frequent commenter. Yeah, I am. Remember, right? I, I still will be at when the season starts. Are you, is that a flip camera? Yeah, it's horrible. They stopped making those. Yeah, you know did, did, did they? They did. They stopped making this those. This thing is, it's really like, I mean like, it's good in a pinch, but I'm really learning that this is crappy. It's I gotta get shitty. something much, I have much one better. too. It's fun. How do you feel about the lockout, man? I'm happy. Now that it's over, yeah. It's over. Uh, I was so mad. I was, it was not looking, I was, I was one of those, I was not optimistic that it was going to be a season. Yeah, so I was, more like, I was, I was like, to. there's not going to be a season at all, so then we were basically like, after this tour, we're like, what the hell are we going to do? Like, literally, what are we going to do all day yeah, for right. the next couple months? So, I'm ecstatic that it's, uh... Were your jobs, were your jobs like, on the line or anything no, like that? No, no, because we're under contract, but it would have just been really tough to... Uh, you know, over the years watching you, yeah. I noticed the one consistent thing is, you hate Mike Bibby. I fucking hate Mike Bibby. <laughs> Excuse my language. I hate him. Why do you hate Mike Bibby? Because I, I, I always like to know this. First off, I don't understand why people ask me that question back. Look at him. Look at his game. I hate him. But here's the real reason. I decided in life you need you need an arch nemesis. You need your exact opposite. So you just need someone to hate. You can't like everyone. And I decided one day that it was going to be Mike Bibby, and that is why. That's why I hate him. That's it's the it? worst. There's like no other. Is no, it I hate anything? him because I hate how he plays. I hate how he looks. I hate everything about him. <laughs> but my point is, everyone needs their own Mike Bibby. That's sounds, my real point. It kind of sounds like uh, Kermit the Frog, right? You ever hear him talk? <laughs> exactly. Now you get the point. I, I, he was. You, you remember? You watched basketball. Back you liked right? him with the kicks. Yeah, yeah, he was unbelievable. He was clutch, man. Yeah, but he also started his career by not wanting to play in Vancouver. Did, did, so is he that, got off to I was bat. gonna ask you, is that the reason? I mean, yes, <laughs> is that your it's a small reason. reason? Like, <laughs> is there something about like, do, all right, do Canadians like if they if like you know if a pretty good player if they decide to leave the Canada area, do they just get hated on? Yeah, I mean, you've seen it obviously with a lot of guys. Yeah, <laughs> like yes and no. Like yes and no. It depends why they're leaving. Like Mike Bibby, that's like an obvious like. Oh, I don't want to play for this franchise. What's it like? Yeah. You know, I don't want to play, so I don't want to be drafted by the Oh, okay. So I didn't want to play for them. Okay. And then, you know, so that's different than a Chris Bosch leaving, you know. How do you, what do you think, of, how do they uh, react to Chris Bosch? I'm assuming they boo him. They boo, they boo him, right? Yeah, it's sort of mixed. It's not like Vince, though, where oh, well, it nothing's like Vince. Vince yeah. gave up <laughs> and was not trying. I, yeah, I, that's true. I've always, you know, despite what people think is of the video we made about Bosch, but I actually was always a big Bosch supporter. I do think he's really good. Yeah, I, I don't think he deserves to be booed. Lead. Yeah. He does not deserve to be booed. Yeah. Uh, because he really wasn't surrounded with any talent. Right. And I couldn't blame him for leaving. I mean, he did it in a really Chris Bosch way where he could have done it a bit better, maybe, but otherwise, like, he played there, he tried his hardest right up to the end, and then he left, so. How do you think they would have turned out if Vince Carter stayed with Chris Bosch? Do you think they would have been, like, it's a formidable team? I don't know. I mean, they would have. They're a playoff team, I would imagine. No yeah, problem, I mean, they were. I don't really think they're probably championship contenders by any means. Yeah. I mean, Chris Bosch's defense. Yeah, I just don't think. That, that I just, just don't think they're going for that. But yeah, they're they're a better team. They're maybe a 50 win team. They're a 50 win team. Yeah, he was. I mean, yeah. he played pretty well. Uh, it, was, it was pretty obvious that he gave up. Oh, on the he, absolutely. Team, which is which is it really tarnishes like I, he could have been like I really think he could have been like at the level of Kobe if he put yeah. in the, like the extra amount of work. What do you think of that? Yeah, and that's what a lot of people say about him. I mean, he yeah. obviously had all the physical traits to be a, an amazing NBA basketball player, but he just he didn't have that psycho Jordan Kobe like yeah. I want to be the best. He didn't really care. That's you know that's that's too bad. That's fine. That's his thing. But, yeah. Brandon Roy. Brandon Roy. Yeah. What do you think about him for this upcoming season? Do you think he'll ever have any resemblance to what he was? No. 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 I don't think. I. I don't. Which is really sad because you sort of easily forget. Yeah. How awesome he was there for a couple of years. But he started to become one of my favorites. I mean, and I, I do like him. I think he still obviously has a place in this league, but he's not going to be... He's
He's not going to be all star, star superstar level type player. Right. You think so the video signing off here? Home. We're signing yeah. off here. <laughs> I feel like this interview the entire time has been down here. <laughs> I know, right? Flat. That's the thing. I was talking to uh, Adrian Wojnarowski before, yeah. and uh, I was talking to him for a while. I looked at the camera real quick. I realized I was like recording like this. Uh, this is funny. Like I'm trying to like look at you and look at the camera at the same time. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should look at you or look there. Or <laughs> I know, right? Look off or look down. I don't know. But yeah, I mean.